How's it going everybody? Uh, today I'm going to be making a, a hardwire adapter for my 2021 Toyota Sienna for my Escort radar detector. This could apply to setting up any aftermarket cameras as well. There is a 12 volt uh, plug in your headliner. Uh, if you look up uh, where the buttons are, if you pull that panel down, there is a blue connector that's meant for the OEM dash cam, um, but it looks like it's just a regular 12 volt line. So um, you're gonna need a female housing connector with this part number and a 2.5 millimeter pitch uh, pin set. I got this off of Amazon for a couple dollars. Um, it comes with the male and female plug, so I'm gonna be using only a female plug. And of course the wiring kit um, that I got off of uh, eBay. Um, this is for my specific radar detector. I have the Escort with a, uh, a fuse built into the line. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this connector and make it really easy to do this install. All right, so here are the three parts. I'm just gonna need to use uh, two pins, uh, female pins from here. Uh, here is the connector. I'm supposed to just connect to the blue connector in the headliner. Okay, we only need two pins. Um, and uh, here is the um, a plug set that I'm gonna clip the ends off here. Um, there are three pins in the headliner plug. One's for um, ignition 12 volt, constant 12 volt, and of course ground. Um, I'll show you which pins to use for um, ignition 12 volt because I don't want to leave my radio detector running all the time. So um, let me clip these guys off and uh, crimp uh, these pins set in here and insert the pins into the plug. Hold one second here. Okay, so I created the pins, and now I'm going to be inserting the wires into the housing. It's really easy to do. Um, so after I crimped everything, um, I'm gonna be using uh, this pin on the far right, second pin on the right for the ground, and two over to the left is gonna be the red uh, connector. So just simply insert them all the way in and uh, put the locking clip back into place. So I'll show you that in a second. And the connector is up in this panel here in the headliner. It's really easy to take off, but you have to be careful. Um, you can pull them off with your bare hands, uh, but if I've noticed if you try to pull just on this plastic piece, you can separate the entire um, housing. Um, it looks like it has clips here and here and here and here. So try and pull from here and try and get it down. And there's little two hooks. Uh, there's two little hooks up, up here, uh, kind of hold it. In, into place. So I'm gonna pull this down, and once it's down, um, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so it was actually really easy to do. Um, I just pulled here and it comes out like this, and then uh, disengages like this. All right, so you can just leave it dangling here. And as you can see right here, here is the accessory cord uh, that's meant for the camera. Uh, let me see if I can pop it out for you to take a look. So you can see here, there's actually a hole to run wires um, right here in the headliner, which is really convenient. And here is the connector. Um, there's only three wires here. All right. So as you can see here, the black is for the uh, 12 volt always on. The pink reddish one is ignition. And this white black one is for ground. So the pins that I used um, are this one second in, the pink one, and the ground here um, uh, on the far right here in the connector. All right, so uh, let me plug it in and let's do a quick test. Okay, so it is currently plugged in. This is what the connector looks like. Uh, you know, can't get more OEM looking than that. Uh, it fits right in. And uh, here's the cable. And let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, cool. So let's see if the radio detector turns off when I turn off the car. And I think that's working here. All right, let me turn off the car. All right, as you can see, it turned off the radio detector exactly the way I want it. And let's see what happens when I turn the car on. And there it goes. 
All right, very cool. So this is a 12 volt accessory plug. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it, this is a 2021 uh, XLE Sienna. Um, these are the three wires that come out. As you can see here, it corresponds to the wires here. So the pink goes to the red hot uh, connection. The black is ground. The black and white is ground up here. And this black wire is um, constant 12 volt on. This one's ignition on. So uh, that's it. So this is the part you would need um, in order to accomplish this task. Alrighty, so I did a quick uh, mount of the rotary detector. I do have to make some adjustments, but just a couple quick notes. Um, to run the wire in the headliner, I ran it down into here, and this uh, plastic piece comes off, this whole thing. Um, this pops out by pushing down here, and it slides out. And then this uh, big plastic piece, um, the way you get it out is you push down on it toward the bottom of the car, and then it pops out. So it's in two pieces. So this pops down like this, and then this plastic piece, this is a huge piece, um, slides forward and it comes off. So that's how I ran the wire through here and through here. And as you can see behind the mirror, it looks nice and clean. Right. Looks nice and clean. And up in here, and then I wrapped the wires. It's a lot of wires because this is meant to run around the windshield. I may clip that in the future and just shorten it. Um, but I just wrapped it in um, fabric tape so it doesn't rattle around. And um, now I'll be able to put this thing back into the um, into the in the roof liner here.